This weekend, Keir Starmer was meant to attend the Labour North Regional Conference, a chance to meet and greet those in the North at a mini-conference to thank his hard-working supporters, those he's got left anyway, and to lead this show of solidarity amongst Labour members who want to have a chance to get together, discuss issues, listen to speakers, debate the future of the movement, all that kind of thing. If you've seen the National Conference clips on telly, it's much the same thing, just a smaller scale. Well, Starmer cancelled his appearance here at the last minute, citing the situation in Ukraine as his reason to not attend. Now, if he was Prime Minister, you could understand such a move, but he's not. Aside from commenting on the situation, aside from offering comment and reaction to whatever the government chooses to do, uh, there's nothing for Starmer to actually get involved with as far as taking action goes. You know, if he cancelled to offer solidarity to a Ukrainian group or centre, if he decided against going to offer support to Ukrainian constituents he might have, I can understand all of that. But he didn't, because the snivelling little shit lied. His reason for not attending conference had nothing to do with the Ukraine conflict. He just chose to use it as an excuse. He used the war as cover to toddle off to Erdington to campaign to get his flailing NHS privatisation supporting Hustings dodging candidate Paulette Hamilton elected to Parliament. Quite why Starmer chose to lie about this is weird. I can only assume he cares more about not losing another by-election than he does about meeting Labour members and addressing them at their conference. And instead of being straight about it, chose to treat them with disdain and lie to them. As has been Starmer's track record in elections ever since becoming leader, Either he's either lost them or held them on massively reduced majorities by the skin of his teeth, and things are not going well in Erdington by all accounts. All the photos of campaigners going out on the door, knocking a leafleting, almost entirely consist of councillors or MPs making the trip to campaign. Having alienated, disgusted and purged the left, those who were left of the party have no interest campaigning, and those still in the party have down tools over Starmer's authoritarianism. The boots on the ground Labour is so famous for come election time have vanished, and they're in trouble. In stark contrast, Dave Nellis, the Tusk candidate, is enjoying much local campaign support and he's doing very well. The left have a candidate in Dave who actually is a socialist, is campaigning on a socialist platform and only wants to take a worker's wage if elected, unlike Hamilton, who allegedly wants to keep her councillor's salary as well as take her MP's wage. Erdington goes to the polls on Thursday. I cannot emphasise enough how much I urge people to go out and vote for Dave Nellis. It's a poor Labour candidate there and an even poorer Labour leader, yet again exposed for his dishonesty.